everyone, I am Dheeraj Tatar, a system professor in the chemical engineering department of LJ IT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the mass transfer operation 1. So let's start. Chapter name is liquid liquid extraction and topic is extraction equipments. So you can see on the screen extraction equipments. Before moving to the extraction equipments, we will quickly revise meaning of liquid liquid extraction. We know that liquid liquid extraction means we are removing one of the constituent from the liquid solution by using extracting solvent. This phenomena is nothing but liquid liquid extraction. But in leaching, we are extracting one of the constituent from the solid. So this is the difference between LLE and leaching. In LLE, we are removing constituent from the liquid solution. But in leaching, we are removing constituent from the solid. Now we will see various extraction equipments used in industry. So you can see on the screen. Industrial extraction equipments are classified as follow. First one is stage type extractors and second one is differential or continuous contact extractor. So example for stage type extractor is nothing but mixer settler that is nothing but multi stage or single stage extractor and second one is differential or continuous contact extractor and example for this is spray column. You can see on the screen, mixer settler is the single or multi stage extractor that is nothing but stage type and second one is a spray column that is nothing but continuous contact extractor. Continuous contact extractor means whatever the dispersed phase from which we are removing constituent that is in a continuous contact with the moving phase and moving phase is nothing but your extracting solvent. Now we will see in detail mixer settler. So you can see on the screen. This is the figure for mixer settler where we are having two units. First one is the mixer and second one is the settler and this is the important point related to the mixer settler. According to this point you can see on the screen a mixer settler is a single stage extractant device which comprises of a mixer for contacting two liquid phases to effect mass transfer and a settler for mechanical separation. So whatever the mixing is taking place in the mixer there are two phases are generated that is nothing but extract phase and refinite phase. All those two phases are separated in the settler. That is nothing but meaning of this point. That is a settler for a mechanical separation of the phases. It is the most simple type of the extractor has a many variation in the industry. In simple words I can say meaning of this point is nothing but whatever the feed stream that is nothing but feed to be extraction and solvent are mixing in this mixer by using agitation. Agitation is nothing but we are creating here turbulence indirectly we are increasing here rate of the mass transfer. Whatever the phases are generated by this mixing we are separating those phases that is nothing but extract and refinite in a settler. That is the separation on the based on the density difference. So this is the meaning of this figure and this is the meaning of this first point. Now second point is nothing but the feed solution to be extracted is nothing but A plus C. I told you A is nothing but your feed solvent and C is nothing but solute or I can say liquid to be extracted means A plus C is nothing but your F and this, that is nothing but your feed solution. Means a feed solution to be extracted is a taken into the agitated vessel. Required amount of the solvent is added that is nothing but extracting solvent and the whole mass is agitated for a predetermined time to get the better mixing. That is the significance of the agitation. After that whatever the mixing is taking place in the mixer, the mixer is a small baffle agitator tank provided with the inlet and outlet connections. Here we are having baffle connection. Baffle is used to increase the turbulence in the system. By using this turbulence we can increase the rate of the mass transfer in this system. Ultimately we are increasing the rate of liquid liquid extraction means we are removing more amount of the constituent from the feed solution. Next point is in this extractor that is nothing but mixer settler two phases are in a continuous contact with each other in the mixer under thorough agitation before flowing to the settler for the phases separation means before separation into the extract and refinite phase all those phases are in a continuous contact in the mixer or I can say to increase the turbulence we are using their agitation and by using this agitation we are removing whatever the constituent present in the refinite phase means here we are increasing the amount of the constituent of that solute in the extract phase. That's why all these phases are in a continuous contact in the mixer before separation. After that outlet stream from the mixer is transferring to the settler where we are getting two outlet stream that is nothing but extract phase and refinite phase and required component that is nothing but solute C present in the larger composition in the extract phase. We know that no process is 100% efficient. 
means whatever the solute part is present in the extract phase some amount of that particle also present in the refinite phase now we will see next extractor that is nothing but spray tower or column this is nothing but differential or continuous column you can see on the screen this is the figure for spray tower or spray column here we are having two feed stream first one is heavy liquid in and second one is light liquid in and heavy liquid in is nothing but liquid stream to be extracted and light liquid in is nothing but extracting solvent by using we are removing constituent from the heavy liquid in after that after liquid liquid extraction we are getting two outlet stream that is nothing but light liquid out and second one is heavy liquid out whatever the extracted part of the solute that is a present in the light liquid out and whatever the residual part of this solution or i can say refinite phase that is a present in the heavy liquid out now we will see important points related to this spray column so you can see on the screen first point related to this spray column is spray towers are simplest of differential contactors second point is in its simplest form this spray column is consist of empty tower provided with two inlet and two outlet connections means whatever the feed streams we are providing from the inlet connection and whatever the outlet streams that is nothing but light liquid out and heavy liquid out we are removing from the outlet connection and next point related to the spray tower or spray column is in this tower best thing is mixing and settling occurs simultaneously and there is a continuous transfer of the material between the phases that is nothing but extract phase and refinite phase this whatever the material is transfer it is continuously transfer between this extract phase and refinite phase and whatever the constituent we are removing that is a present in the large composition in the extract phase and we are removing that extract phase from the top section and whatever the refinite phase we are removing from the bottom section so these are the important points related to the spray tower and spray column now we will see example based on liquid liquid extraction so you can see on the screen statement is iodine is to be extracted from its saturated aqueous solution using carbon disulfide means carbon disulfide is using as the extracting solvent the distribution of the iodine between the carbon disulfide and water at equilibrium is given by k is equal to y by x and y is nothing but gram of iodine per 1 liter of the cs2 and x is nothing but grams of the iodine per 1 liter of the water that is equal to 588.2 this is equilibrium relation and y is nothing but mass fraction or weight fraction of the iodine in extract phase and x is nothing but weight fraction or mass fraction of the iodine in refinite phase then calculate the concentration of iodine in the aqueous phase if 1 liter of the saturated aqueous solution at 293 kelvin containing 0.3 gram of iodine per 1 liter of the water is contacted with 50 ml of carbon disulfide by stirring what is the meaning of this here we are using carbon disulfide as the extracting solvent and amount is nothing but that is a 50 ml of carbon disulfide means extracting solvent we are using in a one stage that is nothing but 50 ml and 0.3 grams of the iodine per 1 liter of the water is contacted with 50 ml of the extracting solvent that is nothing but carbon disulfide in this question we have to calculate amount x1 that is nothing but amount of the solute that is iodine present in the refinite so how to calculate you can see on the screen now basis is nothing but 1 liter of the saturated solution at 293 kelvin and it contains 0.3 gram of the iodine that is nothing but solute to be extracted that is coming into the contact of the 50 ml of the carbon disulfide so you can see here for one stage extraction we are using here 50 ml of the cs2 means in a one stage we are using total amount of the cs2 that is nothing but extracting solvent and meaning of x is nothing but grams of the iodine per 1 liter of the water that is in the refinite phase and y is nothing but amount of the iodine present in the extract phase that is given by grams of the iodine per 1 liter of the cs2 now how to calculate x1 you can see here at equilibrium we are having k is equal to y by x and y is nothing but iodine present in the extract phase and x is nothing but iodine present in the refinite phase this value is nothing but k and k is equal to 588.2 that is nothing but equilibrium constant or i can say distribution coefficient so for single stage we can write this relation in this form y1 is equal to 588.2 x1 similarly we can write this relation for the multiple stages but in this question we are required only for single stage so that is nothing but y1 is equal to 588.2 x1 
Now we will calculate here amount of x1 that is nothing but solute present in the refinite phase that is the requirement of this question. So for that purpose now we will take material balance of the solute that is nothing but material balance of the iodine. So you can see on the screen now iodine in a saturated solution is equal to iodine in CS2 plus iodine in water. What is meaning of this? Iodine in feed solution is equal to iodine in extract phase plus iodine in a refinite phase. Just put all notations here now. You will get xf into f is equal to y1 into e1 plus x1 into r1. So xf is nothing but amount of the iodine in a feed solution. Y1 is nothing but amount of the iodine in an extract phase and x1 is nothing but amount of the iodine in a refinite phase. Now put all required values in this equation. You will get like this. 0.3 into 1 is equal to y1 into 50 divided by 1000 plus x1 into 1. Now put y1 is equal to 588.2. You will get like this. 0.3 is equal to 588.2 x1 50 divided by 1000 plus x1. Here we have put just y1 is equal to 588.2 into x1. This is nothing but equilibrium relation for first stage. After calculation, you will get here x1 is equal to 0.0099 grams per liter. This is nothing but value of x1 or I can say concentration of the iodine present in the refinite phase. And this is the required answer for this question. So what we have seen in this lecture, we have discussed here extraction equipments and solve one numerical based on the liquid-liquid extraction. So this numerical can be asked in your exam for 7 marks. So this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.